Hi everyone, today we are going to explore how to create this nice amazing bar chart which show the yearly, quarterly and monthly summary on just of one click and if you want to see any of the KPI you can simply select and it will show you those KPI summary on a single click. So no further ado, let's go together. Consider we have this data set. To create a bar chart first we need to create three helper columns so i will right click insert column to the left hit f4 key two time actually the f4 key doing last operation now we just rename this column the first will be af next column will be month third column will be quarter so in order to extract the year from the date we will simply type the formula text we will specify the date column and the format we want on the yyy close the bracket and hit enter now we also want to extract the month but month will be in year month format so simply copy this formula double click paste it here and instead of this format we will type dash and mmm okay close the bracket and in order to extract the quarter from the date we have this formula so first we need to type the month function and for the month function we will specify the date column close the bracket and now we will add two with them close these and this whole result now divide by three and once the result is divided by three just use int function to get only the integer part from this now if i press enter it actually create me this date format i need to convert the date to automatic or general format okay but we need to add a queue so how i can add it simple so this is now q1 q2 q4 but actually we have multiple errors of data so we need to merge this error as well so simple and we will uh, simply add and percent and space and percent air column as well now we get the quarter including the air what i need i just need to select and double click and it will apply on all of the columns. now our next tip to create a drop down so it's very simple to create a drop down i will click here and the first drop down we need for time frame the second drop down we need for kpi type in order to make a drop down we just need to click on the cell go to data data validation add rule drop down from a range click on this range icon select your range in this case my range is a1 b1 and c1 for the time frame i will hit ok and we need to create the second drop down on l6 we just need to click on add rule drop down from a range again select a range icon and in this case i will create a range from e1 to j1 i will include the two blank because later I will input my other KPI and my chart will automatically pick those as well. Hit OK and done. Now, if I just select any of the options from time frame, for example, month and KPI type. The next thing we need to refresh those options and develop the XLOOKUP function for the chart. So I will just reference these two cells and this will make the header for my data sheet. The next thing we will write xlookup function how we will write xlookup so if i just type xlookup what is my lookup value so my lookup value is this month since it's automatically connected so this is my lookup value where you want to look up i want to look up in a1b1c1 and what you want to get so i want to get the end result all of the data till the end of my results and if i just hit ok it will return me all of the results okay but in this case i only want the unique result so i will simply type a unique function before xlookup now i get my months in unique instead of month if i select the year it will only return me the unique year and if i select quarter it will only return me the quarter for now i will just select month and I will show you the sum if formula. If I just type sum if function in this case, sum if, 
what is your range you want to look up my lookup range is in this case month so i will select all of the month column and the criteria what is your criteria in this case my criteria are the whole x lookup result so i will just type x lookup and i will include some blank because later maybe i have more data set so i will select criteria like this and my return range some range are the sale amount so i will go to sale amount and click e770 and close the bracket and hit enter it only return me the one value and if i just Control shift enter it will return me all of the sum ifs result now the thing is that if i change this month to year it will not work because this sum if is a hard coded because we have input those column hard coded we need to make these column dynamic so how actually we can make this column dynamic if i type here for example x lookup where is your lookup value my lookup value in this case are the sale amount okay and what you want to look up where you want to look up e1 to j1 and the return range are the, all of the data set till the end so if i just write 770 and close the bracket hit enter it will return me all of the sales amount so instead of inputting the e from e770 we can just input this xlookup result but we also need to dynamic this lookup range where you want to look up because i will change this month to air and i want to change this as well so if i just copy this whole result without the unique and go to some if paste it here and close the bracket now if i change this to air it will return me all of the air's result i will delete this function and for now we are good to go but only thing we need to remove the zero so if i just apply the very easy sum uh, sorry if function if this range equal to blank we want to see the blank otherwise we want to see the result and if i just close the bracket it will give me what i want let me just back to month and i will insert the chart so i will select all of the data set including some blank rows and i will simply go to insert insert chart and this will give me a chart which is automatically connected with those columns so if i select air or border it will automatically change the only thing we need to format this chart so this is very simple first i will need to remove the months i will remove the same amount i will remove the headers now the next step is to create this header which is dynamically updated so how we will create this one first we need to merge few of the cells for the header and then i will type simple formula the formula will reference actually the first time frame kpi and then i will type n percent quotation marks ly space and summary of space quotation mark and percent and i will reference my kpi type and if i just hit enter it will give me the result what i want so automatically updating okay what i need i just need to do a little bit formatting in this case i will select this font i will increase the font size and let's just choose this light gray color now i just need to merge few more cells for the chart and i will fit the chart in the area and in this case i will just double click customize chart style i will remove the background i will remove the chart outline and this look fine i will select all of the both cell and insert some header you can change the colors whatever you want and i think we are done so this is how we can create this amazing chart using dynamic header but the only question i left for example if i add my new kpi let's say new kpi and I, let's, let's say i'm going to use range between function to get some data between 100 and 200 and if i just drag my this result now i can simply select new kpi and on a monthly base 
and it simply give me what I want. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe my channel for more amazing videos. Thank you so much.